What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA, and yeah, um, where to begin? You know, <laughs> I guess we'll begin right here with this absolutely tragic audience score of 14%. Early on, right? This is very, very early in the process or this particular series, uh, getting absolutely completely obliterated all over social media. If you go to Twitter, Velma is trending, and I mean, this thing is absolutely getting dunked on right now, as it should, because this is just utter, utter, and complete horse shit. This show, absolutely under, uh, the mystery is, how did this thing get past the watchful eye of David Zaslav? Zaslav's been on a streak, right, just canceling anything that just looks like complete crap. All right, he's been doing a good job, at least in my opinion. All right, some people may agree, some people may disagree, but I think he's been doing the job of just completely destroying and getting rid of anything that looks like woke crap or anything that looks like it's just not going to be any good, whether it's woke or not. Right, and I mean, this thing just fits the both of those. <laughs> This thing absolutely fits the bill of terrible, terrible dialogue, terrible show. I watched the first episode, okay? The first episode took me, it's about a 20, 27 minute episode. I think that thing took me like an hour to get through, man, because I kept finding myself being distracted by other things in the house, right? You know, like, man, this thing is boring. This is dull. I don't understand who gave Mindy Kaling the green light to make this show and nobody stopped her, you know? She just got to put every single solitary, terrible idea that she probably came up in her head. She got to put it all out there for public consumption um it's funny because it's kind of ironic that the first scene in this show discusses the only thing needed for a good show is good writing like that's the first thing that they discuss in this show in this little shower scene with a bunch of naked cartoon characters it's really it's i mean it's the last thing that you needed to do with this particular franchise i'm referring to scooby-doo Scooby-Doo was not in need of any type of a adult spin on it where it's like just irreverent and the, I mean, it's just bad, man. The humor is terrible. There's nothing funny on the screen to watch. And look, this little 60% that you see right over here for the Rotten Tomato critics, you know, and the, and the critic reviews, when you kind of go through, there's only 10 of them, you know what I'm saying? It's only 10 of them. And then four of them are bad. It's, it's, the, the critics aren't even talking about this. Okay. The critics are staying far away from this. Like, look, I'm not going to have my career like, scrutinized on how I review films based on this crap. Okay. And I'm pretty sure like more reviews will come in. We'll probably get somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50 reviews before all is said and done. But ultimately, man, this is like a big, big nothing burger of a show. Nobody cares. Like this person says here, too much meta humor. Okay. This is totally like this dumb, like Mindy Kaling chick. Like this is totally this Mindy Kaling chick inside of her own head, laughing at her own jokes. Okay. You can almost see it. Everything in this particular show is like inside jokes that only she and her group of friends care about. Nothing was made for mainstream or mass audience appeal. Okay. Nothing that we all can laugh at, right? It's only stuff that her and her little clique can laugh at. It's just, it's just hilarious. And of course, the real reviews are being done here on the audience side. The first episodes are really unbearable. The writers wanted to say in every minute a meta commentary, but they are not using it in a good way. It's just to show off their characters are better than other shows. And honestly, the stereotype, every possible scenario to make cringe jokes. Cringe is the ultimate word, man. This thing is cringy like you would not believe. If you haven't watched it, go watch it for five minutes all right you'll see exactly what i'm talking about if you haven't watched it go watch it for like five minutes and you'll see everything that i'm talking about uh, she's not velma she's not she's mindy kaling okay this character does not act or think or move like velma the velma that we all know i don't care what iteration of scooby-doo you've ever watched this show doesn't feel like it whatsoever it doesn't feel like these characters these characters feel like they came from some other show all right, this is absolutely terrible. They just made a very weird series using the Scooby-Doo universe who had this stupid idea, changing the characters that everyone knows without any purpose on story. This is why I watch anime and read manga. Yeah, exactly. I watched the first two episodes, it was bad. I feel like the murderer doesn't feel like a genuine threat or there are no stakes. We don't get to know the people before they get murdered. Velma is initially blamed for the murders, which does cause some stakes, but it's resolved and the blame is shifted to Fred. The audience isn't gonna care about Fred because he's unlikable and superficial he clearly didn't murder anyone and no one would care if he went to jail like the whole first episode is just that okay it's just dull 
tired, bad writing. I don't know like how to put any finer of a point on it. And if you watch this thing and you gave any amount of your time, man, you're a hero. Okay. Cause I, I'm telling you, I got through the first episode. I have no desire to see this second episode at all. Okay. I don't know what's going to make me go there except maybe morbid curiosity. Like, all right, let's see if it got worse. You know, that's kind of where I'm at. You guys cancel an infinity train in final space for this. Yeah. Like this is the thing. Like I've heard, heard so much about this infinity train, never watched it, but I've heard so much about it. And David's ass lab gave it the ax. That's like I said, that's the mystery. Like, why did this thing pass the bar, but these other, you know, particular cartoons didn't? Yeah, you can see right there, the trailer is absolutely... <laughs> and you know what's funny is that this trailer just dropped yesterday, right? And you can always tell when something is bad and the powers that be know it's bad because everything's late, okay? Everything's late. They're not promoting it. They're not pushing it. The second trailer for this thing, remember the first trailer came back sometime in October and it got dunked on. And then the second trailer, it is the official trailer. The official trailer finally drops a day before the actual show drops. That's a big, huge red flag just waving in your face right there. And then, of course, you can see this thing is absolutely getting ratioed to hell. I, I watched it. Yep. Let me give my uh, two cents on that. And then what's worse is, is they turned off the comments, right? They turned off the comments because nobody can actually make any jokes or crack any jokes about this thing. Again, another big red flag. When they're turning off comments and they're trying to prevent people from, you know, corresponding and giving their feedback and making this thing the running joke that it is. When they're doing that, you automatically know. All right. The, the, the numbers of reviews were pathetically low, all right? You usually see some kind of a run-up. I was hard-pressed to find any kind of reviews for this show. I mean, this thing is at, off to an absolutely disastrous start. And it's going to be dropping week after week after week, okay? So, I mean, they expect people to come back to this thing every single week and keep it in the public conversation. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the right move, right? I mean, they obviously know that this thing is trash, and I probably would have said, you know what, drop it all at once, let's just take our medicine, get it over with, but nope, they're going to be inviting people like myself to come back every single week and absolutely roast this thing. I probably will check the second episode out so I can give like my full thoughts on that in the later video, but I mean, this, the first episode, utter dog shit, utter dog shit, couldn't believe it, uh, but I could believe it because again, we saw all of this coming, we saw all of this coming, we knew that this thing was going to be a disaster in the making, anyway folks, did you have a chance to see any part of Vilma, either episode one or both of them, go ahead, drop down in the comments, let me know what you think about that, and thanks for watching, see you next time.